So Ash, first and foremost, um, just ask you to, to catch up with us obviously after the Momentum Cup. How are you guys feeling as a side? How are you guys feeling as a unit at the moment um, going into the 2020 competition? Yeah, look, I think the Momentum Cup is now well and truly in the past. Uh, we're looking forward to the next competition. Obviously, it was disappointing to lose in the semi-final, but um, like I say, that's that's in the past now. We're looking forward to the next comp. And just um, from the two warm-up games and, and looking forward to the new competition, I mean, just, just what do you take out of the two games that we're it's very difficult. You don't really take much out of it besides the fact that you want players to uh, get to practice their skills in a match situation. There's no pressure in these matches. You know, it's easy to hit, it's easier to, you know, it's not the same as doing it in a, in a match under pressure. But it's an opportunity, something different to the nets, to kind of um, train outside in the middle, get your field placings right, work on your plans, uh, especially from a bowling point of view what you want to execute, get your field placings right. In a, in a net situation, you don't get to sit the field, you don't get to sit the angles, all those type of things. So it's just a different form of training uh, and trying to, um, you know, give the guys a bit of a run out before, before the competition proper. And can we take any new places from, from the momentum when it comes to the um, New faces in terms of, you'll see our contacted squad and more or less the same people who played in the Momentum Cup. Do we captain again? Um, we haven't decided yet. There's a massive impact that you've had on a lot of the young players that have gone on to play for the project. And that's a, that's a role that you have as a franchise coach in this community for cricket, for the future of cricket that you've done. Um, losing those players, of course, in difficult times and having to obviously um, do things to change things to get your team out there it must be quite tough. But just from a perspective of your point of view from that, finding the next generation of protest players that you have had a massive hand in. Yeah, yeah, look, I mean, since I've started here, we've had, I think, six or seven debutants. So in the space of three years, or I think from the time they got into the Cobras team, when I took over, they were most of them were playing semi-pro cricket. So from the time they made their debut to the time they played for the Proteas, probably the space of 24 months. So, you know, those are some of the positives that we take away. Um, to find another another half a dozen is not going to be that easy. But, um, you know, like you say, when players are going away and representing the country, there's a lot of opportunities for others to, to step up and stake a claim. You know, it's it's been, uh, it's been always a, a vision of mine to, to kind of emulate... Um, the, the teams that I represented here as a Western Province player or Cobras player back in the day, everybody was playing for either the national team or at least the SAA team. And, you know, to represent this organisation, that's got to be your, your aim or your standards. You've obviously played at the highest level as well. What is that difference, that, that difference between the greats and just a normal ordinary player? In I think it's, it's very difficult for players at this level to, re, to realise what it is. Uh, and that's why you will f you will read or you possibly hear a lot of comments from Ashwell Prince saying, you know, we got to get our top international players or experienced international players to play more games at domestic level with our younger talented players. Um, because we keep saying that the, the, the gap in the standard between domestic cricket or uh, franchise cricket and international cricket is that big. Well, a player's not going to learn if, we don't, if they don't play alongside our senior international players. You know, CSA for me has got to do more in terms of ensuring that those guys, when there's no international duty, that they must play. For me, that CSA is responsibility to do that. If we want our younger generation to, um, to speed up the education, you know, ultimately it's about speeding up education. Uh, because there's no lack of talent. The talent is there, but it's about speeding up the education. You look at people like uh, Punt and Gill and these guys are 19, 20, 21 years old, playing for one of the biggest countries in the world and doing great things. We always say, I mean, I'm listening to the comments last night of, of our team playing, uh, young team. There was one person making his debut, the rest are all late 20s, closer to 30, and we're saying young team. You know, it, it's not a young team. We, we have to be honest about these things. It's not a young team. You know, one person is making his international debut. It's not a young team, but we always uh, kind of have to 
mollycoddle and like, oh, it's a shame. It's only so we played only so many games, whatever. We need to grow up faster and man up. That's that's the biggest thing for me. Um, Ash, uh, the COVID, is, you know, the, over the years, like you said, but, I mean, after Western Brahms, they were one of the probably the strongest unions and most successful unions in the in the country. It's, it's going into the last, possibly the last competition as the COVID. Um, is there a little bit of pressure? Not any normal more pressure, but just to end off what the Cobras did over the years on a bit of a high. <laughs> Do we always want to win? If that's what you ask. We always want to win. At the end of the day, uh, you know, you're talking about successful Cobras era. Um, when you, you know, when you consider the fact that that era that you're talking about, um, basically within the space of 18 months after I, I took charge here, uh, you lost probably at least half a dozen of your most experienced players. And I can go through the names of Levy, Patik, Van Sale, Dane Villas, um, Justin Kemp, Justin Antong, you know. So with that is, is a lot of experience and a lot of know-how in terms of winning competitions as they did. Uh, and they were successful era. And when you, when you have to replace that, you have to give the young guys time to learn to win. You know, so uh, the next half a dozen guys that we mentioned before that came through, I think they're getting closer. Um, yeah, you talk about lack of experience, there are a few culprits flying around, or things about getting in the room into Well, I, I think there's always, there's always a, you have to weigh up um, the considerations with things like that. If there's a desperate need uh, in a department that you don't have a player, then I think you consider it. If you have players, and especially if those players have the potential to go and represent the country, then in my opinion, they get the opportunity. Despite the lack of opportunity, despite the lack of experience, despite the fact that one or two other Colpac players might give the Cobras a better chance of winning a competition. That's all good and well for the Cobras. That doesn't help the young player who's got aspirations to play for the country. He needs to get that experience and he's not going to get it by being on the bench in a semi-final or a final. He needs to play in those matches so that the country can benefit from it. So it's a double-edged sword. If Do your bosses understand that philosophy? You have to ask them that. Um, and just going into next year, um, if you go into Eastern Province, um, you've just seen the Cobras come through very well. Um, when you see them do that well, is it a, and the way the, you know, changing to unions, is that a better opportunity for those guys to get into provincial, senior provincial cricket a lot quicker? Yeah, I think if every union is playing by itself, obviously there's more opportunity and for younger players it's easier to come in. If you if you look at the Cobras right now, the Cobras is made up of three affiliates. So uh, for three teams to go into one is a lot harder than one team to go into one or one kind of uh, pipeline feeding to the top. In the past, you know, um, during the Cobras uh, reign or, 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 or period, you have three affiliates feeding into one. So it, it is really difficult for young players when when there's so many people looking for opportunity. Just one just question from me, Ash. You, you have two players um, in Pakistan. Um, but, um, firstly, George Linder in the test match took a five foot. And the younger man yesterday just talked about their performances and, and the assessment of the Yeah, look, I mean, we we obviously excited about their performances for the national team. Um, you know, we excited to have Kyle back here as well, unfortunately. He hasn't been able to, to get a game for, a, for some time now, but, you know, at least he's had two knocks here now uh, going into this tournament. So he's got some nice uh, time in the middle. Uh, he looks like he, he's, he's timing the ball nicely. So hopefully that can continue into the tournament. But we're excited about our players going into the national team and, and doing well. And, you know, for, for, for some of them, um, it's taken some time in terms of, you know, the individual kind of believing that they can play at that level. I mean, uh, you know, someone like George, you know, Faik and myself have, have been telling him for years that he, he's got that kind of ability, you know, and obviously his name is now in the draft for IPLs and those type of things. I mean, George Linder is a package as a player. You know, he, he can clear the boundary. 
Uh, he takes wickets, you know, he gets bounced, he's nice and tall, so he's a package as a cricketer, but sometimes sometimes you can have a 21-year-old Verena who believes in himself, and then another guy needs 10 years before he believes in himself. People have different personalities, and that's just how it is.